How have I avoided being in therapy? Some would say that's a good question. I don't know. Probably need it. I'll tell you my theory. I might be wrong, but it's worked for me. A long time ago, when I was an undergraduate, I read a study in one of my pre-med courses. And this study was talking about how exercise reduces the amount of drugs that people need when it comes to stress, um, depression, anxiety. And I don't have the study for you, but there's probably been many done like this where they researched essentially what actually happens hormonally when you do exercises. And it was way fascinating. Like the endorphins, all the hormones that you can think of, stimulating testosterone, growth hormone, and the effect that these things have on the mind. And it was eye-opening and life-changing. Now, I had already been exercising, but it gave me an idea of why I intuitively knew certain things. I'll give you an example. When I was a child and kids were bothering me at school or I had a problem, I often found that just going outside and exerting myself in such a way that you would almost puke, doing sprints on a bicycle, for example, running long distances, doing anything to where you would become so exhausted and tired that you didn't have time to think of your problems because you had to think of only surviving the actual exercise. I don't know why I did this. I don't know how I figured it out. I just intuitively knew this. And it was only until college that I came across this study in, in my schooling. And then I started to use it proactively and realized that, wow, when I get stressed out, go for a bike ride. When I get stressed out, go on a paddleboard, do something, make something hard. See how many push-ups you can do in one set before you puke. Do, see how many squats you can do. It really does help. I know these times are stressful. We live in a world right now, at least in California, where gasoline is $6 per gallon. $6 per gallon. What are they thinking? It seems like employers are in total control of your own personal life and your health care. Used to be what you did on the weekends was your business. As long as you got the job done during the week, your employer had no say in your personal life. Well, not anymore. Then you have, of course, your family. <laughs> Exercise can tremendously help you, and it's mind-blowing how many people don't do it. I'm sharing this with you because a lot of people are trying to figure out how to deal with stressful situations. They have anxiety, they have depression, and this is not a cure by any means. However, it sure seems to be and has kept me out of a lot of trouble. Let me share with you also, if you're having trouble with exercising, I'll put a link down below. This is a great book. This is functional training for sports. And if you have imbalances in your body, you have shoulder pain, hip pain, back pain, there's a way to train the body so that you gain more symmetry in the body from side to side. So this has helped me a lot with sports injuries. I use it with uh, patients and stuff like that. So look into the book. Uh, you can read reviews and stuff down below in the comments section uh, of the link to this. It's an, if you can get them on Amazon or a bookstore, any place like that. Hey, Merry Christmas.